Okay. Okay. Turn the yaw controller on. Are you gonna wait for the fast beep? Okay. That means the unit is on and it's waiting on the remote. Off. That's the way to do it because that can guarantee the unit is on. Okay. So once you hear the fast beep, mm -hmm. instant on. It goes to a slower beat, and you're going to activate by pressing the star twice. Okay. One, two. Okay. And now it still lights here, double flashing like they've when always When it starts been. flashing, no more beeps, you're ready, ready to go. go. So we've got our yacht controller installed. The technician said kind of walk around the boat, make sure the signal's okay. So we've come all the way up here to the bow. We're going to do a, a port and starboard thruster test. Getting good. Motion across, we're going to do an engine test, starboard reverse. Port forward, port reverse, starboard forward, and that's in slow idle as well. Sean, look, we, that's in slow idle as well. We took a couple of seconds just to try in the full part of the boat actually being in its normal uh, idle uh, RPM, and it's a pretty good jolt. So I put it in a little idle just to see what it did. It's a little bit better. I can see the, the normal con in normal conditions to use the slow idle, but in adverse conduction conditions, either high wind, current, et cetera, et cetera, that little bit more power would help the boat kind of move around. These are big props, so she does like to pivot and move side to side without touching the uh, steering wheel at all. So it, it's pretty nice. The only thing is, is that the thruster itself's a little bit small. I don't know if we can upgrade the Propeller. This is a three-blade three thruster propeller. Maybe go to four or even five if it has the uh, space for the tunnel. Um, maybe go to a, maybe go from a three to a four if it has the circumference in the tunnel to fit the four-blade. Uh, but overall, it's a great success. Uh, the yacht controller works, and as we talked before, now not only are you the captain, but you're also you know, you can have extra hands. I always put this around my neck. I never just hold the unit like this. Uh, one fall in the water, and now you've got to scramble back to the controls there at the lower helm to try to get it done. Plus, you know, you put this around your neck and you need to grab a line, you can go ahead and do it. You can adjust the line, you can do what you need to do, add line, take line in, etc., etc., and then go right back to it. So it's pretty convenient with the um, necklace here to have on and keep it so that it's number one, it's safe, but number two, you can use both hands and still have control. Right now, even the yacht controller is still on, so I can, you know, I can move the boat first. I can move the boat forward, I can move the Again, still on, I can go and tie my lineup, up, my fender, whatever I need to do. Again, become a, I have, have the captain capabilities, but I also have my hands to do any room work, tie lines, hang fenders, etc. Hope you guys like this video. Check it out. Go on Yacht Controller's website, take a look and see what other options they have. But overall, this is a great success, and I know the owner is going to really appreciate it when it comes time for docking or close quarter movement, and something that he and uh, his guests are you know, going to be able to use in the future.